Hello everybody, we Paddy from Across the Shock and uh, I have got a joyous video for you this morning on two accounts. One that if you watch my last video, uh, I'll let you know that my daughter had taken a heart attack um, Friday week ago, um, which obviously threw everybody into uh, complete and utter panic mode. Um, she's only 42, she's three young children and... Uh, well, it just scared the living daylights out of her more than any of us, but the rest of us all. It was, it's quite a hard thing to take and quite a shock when somebody's so young. But I asked for prayer from any of my subscribers who offered it. And to be honest with you, I was offered so much prayer and a lot of people took her to their churches and prayed for her. And I just want to say God is good and she is now out of hospital. She came out on Friday night, later on on Friday night, to be honest, yesterday was just getting everything back to normal. And uh, so I thought this morning, first thing, this is Sunday morning early here in uh, in Northern Ireland. And I just wanted to say a huge, huge thank you from our whole family for those who prayed. And for those who didn't pray but kept her in their thoughts. Um, because not everybody's religious and, and that's fair, you know, that's fine. But people were just so generous with their thoughts and their best wishes. And I just want to thank them every bit as much as those that prayed. Um, and, you know, God is good. She, she's home. There there was no blockages. She finished on Thursday with her big scan. They couldn't find anywhere there was any blockages. There's still a little bit at the bottom of her heart, which isn't working right. But she's on beta blockers, all sorts of tablets. I can't even remember their names. Um, and they're, it's working well with them. It has improved slightly since she went in. So they allowed her out. She'll go back in a month's time to see if the improvement continues and what other treatment she needs. But she doesn't need any stent or anything we got at the minute, which is just amazing. So thank you so much. Um, and I thought I would do this. This is a an update of, of a knife that I, I showed when I got it, but I really wanted to do a... Um, an update on it and it's a beautiful knife and it was done in memory i bought this for in memory of my father so it's what I, it all came together this morning i thought what a better knife to do um than my hinderer and my most expensive knife i bought and um, by far <laughs> by far uh, and it is my my favorite user by far uh now when saying that my my Grail knife is still this one. But this is a slip joint from Rick Hinderer, which is probably of all the companies you would have thought would not do a slip joint, it would be Rick Hinderer. And to be honest with you, he has just knocked the ball out of the park. This is the XM18 uh, chassis, if you like. And what he's done, he's made a, a, a slip joint out of it. There's a fuller on the top with a slider of a blade, it's like one of these button top blades. I'm not art blades um, opener. I'm not over enamored with this. I'll be honest with you. I'm not over enamored. But it enables me to open a slip joint with one hand, which is not usual. And I like that part of it, to be honest with you. It's bronze washers, uh, which is another step away from Hinder's work knives that had the plastic uh, design he's now got bearings on his other knives so i mean this is the g10 version which is the only version it's g10 on both sides because you don't need a locking mechanism you can do the g10 on both sides which i think makes the knife look look at that i think that looks amazing it's titanium scales in it it's cpm 20 CV steel, which is just an amazing steel. Takes a wicked edge. Um, i done this one just on my Lansky. It came well sharp. There was nothing wrong with it. I just wanted to take the angle down a bit. This is at 17 degrees on the Lansky. And it's an absolute slicer machine. It's the slicer grind, as uh, Rick Ender calls it. It's a, a stone wash, a very slight stone. It nearly looks like a bead blast. But it is a very slight stone wash. Um, it's not showing up. I'm not even going to continue to look. But it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And as a slip joint, it works brilliantly. The size. Let's give you the size of this. It's seven inches. It's my just 
the perfect EDC size of a knife. Three inch blade, four inch handle. The cutting edge is under three inches, which makes it very much agreeable with the, the laws over in the UK. Outstanding. In metric, it is seven and a half centimetres the blade and 18 centimetres overall, roughly. Now, what's it like girthwise? Across the back of her, she is 10 centimetres. Yep, she's 10 centimetres across the back and she is a blade... Um, just under about 2.8 of a blade of the blade thickness isn't that right well it's just just on just under three three mils on the blade thickness so sorry that is about what am i doing one two three it's um <laughs> I've just gone completely brain dead. It's under half an inch. It's about 0.4 uh, of an inch across the spine. Gosh, sorry, I went away there somewhere. I was somewhere else away in that video, but we'll not change it. We'll just keep going. That's me. This is what you get from me. <laughs> There's a lanyard hole at the back if you want to do that, but I love the Rick Hinderer um clips they're just amazing in the pocket lovely clips you can change all this out rick hinder allows you to do that you can change it i'm not sure about these if you can get different colors but i know you can get fillers and the blade clips are the same and you can get fancy colored ones if you want for that i just think the blue and the silver looks perfect why would i want anything else beautiful now this knife for me has two Perfect features that a slip joint needs to make it sheeple friendly. The first one is a forward finger choil. If you want to get up and do some intricate work, you need to be able to sneak up on your knife. And for a, a, an everyday use, that is, that's what you, you're going to use that an awful lot for small jobs. This is perfect. It won't close on you. Yeah, it's it just will not close in. And there's not a lot of... Pressure, this has a, a half stop as such, but it locks in there perfectly. But it's not over tight. It doesn't take much to move that. And that in itself would frighten a lot of people. Now, if you're using a knife right, that should never close on you anyway. But we don't always do things right. So when you're in the forward choil, that won't close on you because you're holding it. Next to no chance, unless you're careless, you should never close yourself on that. But here's the really clever bit. This is where you pay for design. I don't know another knife that does this. Now, maybe there is. I just don't know of another one. Now, watch this. I'm here. I lift my knife up. I catch it on the top of the drawer. Bang. Hey, how blooming good is that? For. Now, I'm sure Rich, Rich, Rick Hinder had done that on purpose because there'd be no reason for him not to have that perfect. How perfect is that? When I'm in this backward choil, and I'm doing feather sticks, that's what I want. I want as much of the blade as I can get. I don't need to be up here. I need to be back here doing feather sticks or whatever, or just clearing bark. So if I hit, look at that, it's not going to close on me. That is just amazing. So I've got two positions that are basically sheeple proof. Sheeple proof, as long as you explain to them what to do and where to hold it. But as a knife person, that is just outstanding. That is just outstanding. And to me, that is one of the main reasons that I call this probably the best slip joint I have ever held or used. Or in the foreseeable future, I can't see another one Taking the place that I'm going to want to spend £300 on. This cost me about £287 over here. Which is a lot dearer than America. But, you know, we still have to pay the tax. And to me, this is worth it. I never thought I would say them words on a £280 knife. This is worth it by far. This, 
has proved to an old fuddy-duddy like me that design and just sheer quality has to come at a price because this is not a Ganzo. You know, this is not, Ganzos are absolutely amazing. This Benchmade is a hundred pound cheaper. This is my grail knife and I still think it is the best looking knife out there. But as a slip joint, as a slip joint, this for me is more useful than my grail knife because it is just stunning. I am completely and utterly a hinderer fan now. I'm actually nearly thinking if I ever get money again of buying the normal three inch hinderer with a locking mechanism. That's how much I really want. And yet it's not something I could legally carry over here, but I just want to have it. I think in my collection at some stage, I will try and get one. But I'll probably try and get one of those older models so that I can relate to it on the channel, if you like. So, boys, I, I have got nothing bad. This CV20 or 20 CV takes a screaming edge. It's not hard to sharpen. It takes a bit longer than, than a lot of your cheaper blades, but the edge that you get on it is just stunning. It really is. It just takes an edge that lasts for donkeys. You can cut for ages with this. It's the equivalent of M390. This is the American version of M390, if you like. Bowler makes the, which is German. This is the American version. I can't tell the difference between the two. I don't do extensive tests. I don't believe even Super Seal Steve or Cedric and Ada, they, they've used these. I don't think there's that much difference. I believe all the results are roughly the same because it's the same metallurgy. What's that word? They're made of the same stuff. The same soup recipe. So... I've already brought this. I'll bring this back in again. There's my grail. It's just a little bit bigger, both in handling. It's not that much bigger. There's a lot more working blade in that, but it's a locking blade. So slip joints, what can I compare it to? There is one of my favourite ones at the moment, which is the Manly, and that comes in S90V. Exactly the same size, just on that 7 inches, it's a perfect EDC size. It has a slip joint, but now this one can't close on me. Just one way. But that's the only way to hold that. That is the only way to hold that. But it'll not close on me. Because it has that part there that stops it. That is one of my favourite knives at the minute as well. But saying that, that cost me £55. That cost me £280. Is there a difference in the knife stylistically? Yes, my Hindra looks a million dollars compared to this. But value-wise, no. To be honest with you, that knife at £55 with S90V is every bit as good as that blade at £280 and 20 CV. If I'm honest, for my daily use, but, but, and this is where I, this is my learning curve. I gave off for years that, oh, you don't need to spend that much money. A hundred pound buys you a knife. And a hundred pound will buy you a knife that is absolutely top notch. You should not need anything better unless you want it. And I want this. I want this. And that is the difference. This just, to me, screams everything. Now, I'm going to take that away and I'm going to bring one of my favourite slip joints in the traditional style, which is the GEC number 78. Look at that. Again, there's not much difference in size. There's not much difference in cutting edge. But those three knives there are three of my top five slip joints. And can I fault? I can't fault either of them. There's none of them that, that are bad in any way. Um, this, I'll have to say, just for looks, just for the fact that it's overbuilt, you know, I'll never need the strength that's in this knife. I hope, 
But you see, if I do, I have no fear of this knife doing anything. If this was the only knife in my collection, I know I'd be safe. Isn't that? That's an, a, a, probably an unusual saying for a slip joint. It is 3.6 ounces. I mean, absolutely perfect weight. Absolutely perfect. And in grams, 102 grams. So, size, weight, everything about it. It's just a sturdy, sturdy knife. But I think you, you can also see the beauty in design. That's the only ugly factor me, but I can see why it's there. I can now open this knife, and not all slip joints can you open with one hand, but this one, you can. I can close it one-handed because I know the knife's not going to close on me, and over she goes. Not a problem. Do I recommend it? Do you know I recommend it if you have £280 that is not going to affect your family, not going to affect any other part of your life. And this money I got, it was a little bit of an inheritance and I just wanted to buy something for my, for me to remind me of my dad. So that's what it done. And every day I pick this up, it reminds me of my dad. So that in itself is worth £280 because I was very fortunate with my father. And a good man. So, dad... I knew we would hate this knife. <laughs> I knew we would hate the price of it. And that's what makes it even better. <laughs> I'll get the last word for the first time. So thank you so much. And I, I, I have got a lot of joy in my heart at the minute. Um, and that's why I wanted to share this knife as well. But thank you again to everybody who gave me their prayers, their thoughts, their goodwill. Every one of you means so much. Thank you to those who stuck by. I haven't put out very good... Uh, video quality at the moment but it'll get better starting next week from my hinder xm18 slippy best slip joint that i have ever held take care goodbye and uh i'll see you next week we're back to normal videos all the very best bye now cup of tea oh here look i have a wee cup of tea up there see you later bye